Jen Hut. Hey guys, General Splatton here. Just want to give you a quick update about uh, some figures I painted a few days ago. Uh, these are some of the Lord of the Rings figures that As Jar sent me. So I just thought I'd show them to you real quick. Didn't spend a lot of time on them, uh, but uh, they still turned out pretty good. I thought. Uh, really liked the the uh, look of them. Uh, one's an Easterling. This one here, and then obviously a goblin over here. And I did the bases, first of all, like um, the Easterlings on the uh, plains before Minas Tirith and the Goblin, like it was in the mines of Moria. And I really like the way the Goblin base turned out because uh, GW bases have a very slight texture on top of them. So I did this like the rubble for the fallen stonework and masonry work and then left a little bit open like it's you know, on the stone floor. wish I'd left it a little more open. Um, I really like the way that base turned out. Uh, it was a cool little effect, a little cool idea I had. So, uh, didn't, like I said, didn't spend a lot of time on them. Uh, I spent more time on the Easterling than on any of these other Lord of the Rings figures so far. Uh, the reason being is that I uh, painted up the gold and did a tutorial on it and, and filmed it and everything, and my computer ate it. So, <laughs> it'll be a while before you all see that uh, tutorial. I have to find, come up with another figure with a lot of gold on it, but I'm glad it did because I can do better than that. The camera work wasn't all that great, plus the paint job didn't turn out as good as I thought it was going to. So, uh, anyway, um, like the way the robes turned out. Uh, spent more time, didn't do washes on this. You know, highlighted and uh, shadowed my regular way um, slightly. I didn't go to the depths and lengths I normally do, but it still turned out pretty good, I think. Now the goblins have been washed and things like that. So, uh, two totally different techniques, but yeah, I'm pleased with both of them. Got some purple on the uh, goblin here. Uh, purple is a good complement to the green. Uh, so, uh, like the way it turned out. Um, also, before I forget, I'm using this gray t shirt as a background. I don't have any kind of thing hard gray. Uh, so uh, let me know what you think of the new setup. Uh, does that help any, hinder any? I think it's helping. It looks like it's helping on screen. But uh, let me know what you think about that. I think I'm going to have to go to Walmart and get me a, a gray poster board for the time being. And uh, I use that. I think uh, this camera likes this background a little better. But uh, you let me know. So uh, look in the coming days ahead to um, hopefully I'll have a uh, review of the HD paints uh, from Reaper Master Series paints I've lived with them for a while I uh, got some things to say about them so I'll be looking for that in the next few days week or two uh, also I'll have some more Lord of the Rings figures uh, I almost got an elf done now and then I'm gonna work on a uh, one of the mounted Rohirrim so I'll be looking for that in the uh, next few days as well uh, if you got any commissions out there that you'd like me to uh, paint up for you uh, give me a, sh a PM at uh, Splatton Studios love to hear from you and uh, once again guys hope you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and God bless you all this is General Splatton I'll talk again dismissed <laughs>